everyone and welcome back to Rainbow Tarot UK. Um, if you're new then welcome and if you're returning then also welcome. It's great to have you back and a big thank you, just want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel, who continues to support this channel. I really really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you so much. But anyway today I just thought I'd try and mix it up a little bit. So today's reading is you know, do they miss you? You know, are you on their mind? And what I'm going to do is we're going to pick our three piles together. So I'm going to use this deck and I'm going to pick out three piles that you're going to choose from. Okay, so we're going to start off by saying, yeah, do they miss pile number one? It's pile number one on their mind. Okay, so I feel this one. That's the one I'm going to do for pile number one. Do they miss pile number two? It's pile number two on their mind. Do they miss pile number two? It's pile number two on their mind. I feel this one. I have that one. It's pile number three on their mind. Let me see, it's that one. Do they miss pile number three? So these are going to be our three piles. So this is pile number one, and you've got embracing. Okay, pile number two, new beginnings. Pile number three is leadership. Okay, so those are our three piles. I'm going to put in some crystals now. So for pile number one, we've got this beautiful little blue crystal. So if you prefer to pick with that, you've got that. For pile number two, it's got a beautiful orange crystal. I'm going to put that there. For pile number three, it's a little purple and white crystal for leadership. So those are your three piles. Pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Take a moment to choose whatever pile you feel drawn to. That's probably the one that's going to have the messages for you. If you feel drawn to more than one, then pick more than one. Just to remind you, it's a general reading. So, you know, just take the messages that resonate with you. And then, you know, whatever you doesn't resonate or that you don't feel happy with, you don't have to accept. But other than that, I will see you in your reading. Bye for now. Hey, pile number one, and welcome back to your reading. So, you chose this pile, which we chose together, and that was the embracing card. Um, I'm going to be using this deck, um, uh, and you also chose the blue stone. Okay, so I've also got some other decks here that I might tap into as well. So we're looking today, aren't we, at, you know, is your person missing you or are you on their mind? Now, before I even look at these, I just want to look at, talk about this card now. This card is um, talking really about, um, it's, it's one of, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of a stalk or, um, yeah, I think it's kind of like a stalk. My memory seems to have lost me today. Also, I'm really sorry if you can hear a little dog barking in the background there. That is, in fact, my neighbour's dog, and they do uh, they do bark a little bit. They're okay. They're perfectly okay, but they do they do bark a little bit sometimes. But anyway, yeah. So this is about this card is about sort of flood. It's based on flood plains where water either floods the plain. Um, or it kind of pulls away so we kind of have this kind of like um, it's kind of a, a sort of a I suppose it's a place of extremes really so um, and also kind of up and down really where things are either all flooded or they're all depleted so I, I kind of get the sense that this person uh, might be feeling uh, kind of a bit up and down at the moment um, or a bit overwhelmed with their emotions or they could be depleted in their emotions so what I'm sensing I guess is a lack of balance so initially my sense is um, that in the situation with them they are feeling a kind of lack of balance in some way um, that is what they're feeling about the situation um, but anyway let's, let's pull some more cards and what I'm going to do actually is I'm just going to pull out a message card as well first before we look at the tarot so okay so we're asking aren't we do they miss pile number one 
Is power number one on their mind? Do they have a message? Well, I think it's this one, and I think it's this one. Let's have a look and see. So this one says, oh, very soon. So clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So maybe at the moment they are in this period of really trying to think about, uh, that, I mean, it clearly says to me that I think they are, you know, they are missing you and they are thinking about you, um, and that you are on their mind, and that there might be some sort of decision uh, that needs to be made. Um, and that it's something, you know, that they're kind of weighing that up at the moment. But it feels like, in many ways, that a message, they want a message, to get a message to you very soon, or that they are coming towards you maybe very soon. Um, yeah, okay, so let's put that there. What does this one say? Retreat. Mm, so maybe they're in retreat, like, you know, right now. Obviously, you're presumably, when now that you're having this reading, you are in separation or you are apart because you're asking, are they missing you? It's time to disconnect from the world. Yes, I kind of would go with this one because if they are feeling kind of imbalanced or sort of all over, all over the place, I kind of get the sense that they are needing to go inwards to look at, to deal with things, to assess things, to look at things. But maybe they're wanting as well with this car because it always makes me feel of a kind of couple retreating together so they just spend that time together just you know the two of them um having special time together because this person is somebody who's in a wedding dress here so maybe there's something about them wanting and missing maybe missing the special time that you had together maybe wanting that again so maybe if some of you are married or we're in long-term relationships maybe they're wanting that back and they want you both to retreat and just spend time with each other to reconnect if you like so that there aren't any other interferences so maybe there were some other interferences in the situation and they want to get away from that because it says it's time to disconnect from the world so it feels to me like if you are in separation um, that they are weighing things up that at the moment they are there's a sort of lack of balance and maybe they're kind of sometimes they're up sometimes they're down um, but they also because we have this word embracing I just feel like they want him that they want to now embrace uh, maybe embrace the situation maybe embrace uh, reconciling in some way um, but it feels to me that they you know, I just get the feeling that they want to, um, yeah, that they do definitely want to reconnect in some way. But anyway, let's have a look at these cards and see what they say. Okay, so we are asking, aren't we? Um, do they miss you? Are you on their mind? Now, do they miss part number one? Are they missing part number one? That's the first one. Are they missing part number one? Second one. Are they missing part number one? Right. Okay, so I definitely feel here we've got the strength card. We've got the two of swords. And we've got judgment. So with the two of swords, it does make me feel that they feel a little bit stuck. Like the two of swords can mean that there's, you know, you're on the kind of a, on a crossroads really, or on the horns of a dilemma. It makes me feel that they, that they feel like they need to make a decision or maybe a choice in some way. So maybe the situation has meant that there is a choice or a decision that's needing to be made. And they're certainly kind of feeling stuck really or certainly kind of stressed in that situation or in that choice that they're making um we have the uh sort of strength card and the judgment card on either side of that so i feel that um in terms of are they missing you i think they are missing you and they want a kind of because this is like almost like a wake-up call so maybe in this situation they need to, you know, this sort of stuck energy. There's something about them needing to kind of wake up a little bit to um, rise up, to 
be different maybe in the situation if they came back to you to be a new version of themselves and they probably kind of know that but maybe they're feeling they're not quite ready that or not not quite not, not maybe strong enough to do that so maybe there was something about in the previous situation which where they weren't um, maybe being the best version of themselves in some way um, they weren't being strong enough for you in some way because particularly if they have this kind of lack of balance here um, and you know so either side of this kind of stuckness they need to be stronger they need to be better they need to rise up they need to be in a better they need to be in a better version of themselves and i think that they know that um and that they um but they're kind of somehow stuck they're sort of stuck they've got kind of like a stuck energy in being able to move that forward but i think from these cards i would say that we you know they definitely do do miss you but there's a sort of stuckness in being able to kind of move forward and offer you something better at this moment but clearly they are wanting to do that I feel like they are wanting to do that they know that they need to be better um, they know that they need to probably need to be more balanced stronger uh, like I said a better version but right now at this point in time they seem to be a little bit of stuck it's a little bit of a dilemma for them they're maybe stuck in their thoughts they're maybe a bit stressed about the situation so that again would suggest that they are missing you in some way but anyway let's see what else we've got so are they missing part number one. Oh, we've got a few that have fallen out it's part number one on their mind let's see so we've got Ten of Swords, or Four of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. Okay, so, okay, so with the Ten of Swords and the Four of Cups here, I just feel like uh, it goes with this Two of Swords energy that they 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 are kind of feeling a little bit like. Um, I feel like they're kind of mixed again it goes with this embracing card with kind of lack of balance really because the ten of swords and the four of cups talks about somebody that I mean the ten of swords talks about a situation really normally that is kind of sort of um, sort of dead in the water really uh, or it's kind of an ending really it feels like the situation has ended but with this one this this sort of depiction of the ten of swords it just feels a little bit more sort of hopeful to me because normally the ten of swords this person is kind of laying flat on the ground with sort of ten swords in their back really but this person is standing up strong and they've got these ten birds flying above them so with the ten of swords as well in the traditional ten of swords you know sometimes when the person is lying down and they've got swords in their back you see like a little glimmer of light above them so this feels to me that this depiction has taken that that version one step forward in the sense that it is they have they although that the situation might be you know you might be in separation and it, feel, it might to all intents and purposes feel like it's kind of ended i think to them they are feeling like there is some hope because we also have the Ten of Pentacles and they want the situation uh, to come back. So I feel like that they are missing you. And the Page of Swords makes me feel that they're keeping tabs on you, that they are checking you out definitely because that's the Page of Swords energy really, somebody that's maybe keeping an eye on you on social media, certainly um, checking you out in some way. So again, that would suggest that they are missing you and that you definitely are on their mind. You know, this person is reading this book here, I just feel like they might be reading up and, or, you know, asking about you or working, trying to work things out about you, maybe in a sort of secret way. Um, and the Ten of Pentacles shows that they want to, it goes, again, it goes with this sort of judgment card, they kind of want a new beginning, they want to start again with you. So it feels to me that they definitely do miss you, that they want to come back into the situation. But there's also underneath the Two of Swords, in this, underneath this kind of stuck energy where they are right now, which is the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups, I don't know if your person maybe, when you were with them, uh, didn't properly, couldn't always appreciate the situation um, and I think that's why they're stuck again a little bit at the moment because they, they're, they're sort of, a, their kind of personality is a little bit at, at the moment where they're, they're, I don't know if they're a bit low in spirits, maybe a bit down on themselves and they, they can't fully 
see or appreciate um, what might be being offered to them. So maybe they didn't properly appreciate you um, and maybe they're a bit low in spirit so they can't, they, what I'm getting is they, they kind of want to come towards you but they're sort of lacking in energy in some way. There's this kind of stuckness um, <clears throat> to them um, at the moment and it feels to me like they need, you know, they, they in, in action, they need to um, change in some way. So in their head and in their heart, uh, they miss you and I feel that you are on their mind and they would like to come towards you. But in terms of action, they're kind of stuck a little bit. Um, and it is something about a sort of lack of balance. So they, I feel like that, you know, they, they can't fully, because also with this strength card, it's like half and half, isn't it? We have half the lion and half the, 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 the girl, I just noticed that. So they're sort of like, they're kind of, they're sort of, they're like this all the time. They're weighing things up, well, you know, should I be with them? Shouldn't I be with them? Should I be with them? Shouldn't I be with them? So it, it kind of makes me feel, and again with the embracing card, you know, it's either all the flood beans, flood plains being flooded or all of the water going away. There's a sort of a lack of balance still within them, but they want you know they they kind of so it's so for me i suppose they they do miss you you are on their mind they do want to in theory come back to you but in terms of sort of action it feels to me they're still in retreat they're still kind of stuck in some way um and maybe it's you that are, is actually saying to them very soon you know like you need to make a decision um, or that they, because yeah, this says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So yeah, it kind of gives me the feeling that they're sort of in this kind of dithering kind of um, state in terms of actually what what they what they what they're doing right now. But in terms of how they're thinking and feeling, then I would definitely say that they are missing you. You are on their mind. They're checking you out, like I say. Um, Maybe you were already in this kind of long-term situation with them because the Ten of Pentacles does talk about, you know, a kind of happy, I mean, here you can see a kind of like a happy family kind of set up. You know, you've got, you've got a couple here, you've got the dog, you've got the kids, you've got the everything there. Um, and it, because it becomes above the judgment cards and maybe, you know, they know that they want to move towards that again and they want that situation to be different again. Um, and they want to come out of this kind of maybe ending, if you had an ending and a separation, they kind of want to rise up, rise up and out of that in a strong, confident way. But in at the moment, they just seem to be kind of stuck and sort of a little bit feeling, maybe a little bit feeling sorry for themselves or not able to fully get themselves out of a... A mindset which is a sort of a bit of a poor me mindset and not really looking at um, all the you know all the good things that were in the relationship and all the good things about you really um, <clears throat> yeah so let's just see what let's just pull a few more to see you know, so let's have a look so is part number one on their mind, are they missing part number one? Please, can you tell us this part number one? Oh, that's too many, way too many. Can't have that amount, I just want one or two. Is, oh, I'll have that one. Is part number one, are they missing part number one? Is part number one on their mind? I'm gonna go for that one. And I'm gonna go for that one. Right, so let's have a look and see. So, we have got, Sorry, here I'm just trying to. We have got these three cards here. Right, okay. Right, okay. So, the Eight of Cups, I mean, the Eight of Cups does talk again about walking away from something. So, you know, we also have the Sun and we also have the Four of Wands. So, I get with the Eight of um, ones that maybe that's you maybe you walked away from this situation um, because you know maybe it just wasn't giving you what you needed 
Um, and I, I'm, I'm just wondering whether they're thinking with the sun and with the four of wands, actually, that you are that you are really in a good place. I just think from them, they may be thinking, and perhaps they can see that as um, you know when they're checking you out with the page of swords. Maybe they're thinking that you know you're really happy because we've got the sun and we've got the four of wands. So you as well, you know, maybe they're thinking that you're actually with somebody else because the four of wands can talk about. Um, well, it can talk about holidays, it can talk about having a good time, it can talk about celebrations, it can, can sometimes talk about, you know, marriage and connect, you know, like a, a long-term connection. It's sometimes often the marriage card with the Four of Wands. And it can also be, of course, the Four of Wands, you know, 11-11, it can be like a twin flame situation. So maybe they are feeling that you are their twin flame and that you're very much on their on their mind and that they are missing you but maybe they're feeling that you have actually walked away from this situation that might be why they're feeling um so stuck um so unhappy so you know unappreciative really of their situation because they desperately want to come back to you and the situation but maybe because of their kind of lack of balance or their not really being very um maybe they weren't committed to the situation before they were too kind of all over the place they couldn't make their mind up and that might be why they want to you know in 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 their mind theoretically they would like to be this strong person they would like the situation to rise up and to be better again but maybe they're thinking that you've actually moved on and you might have actually moved on pile number one um you know you might actually have other other offers um other opportunities really um, but for them, they see you, um, they do see you as their sunshine and the four of wands shows me that they see you as their kind of twin flame or certainly a very um, strong connection, a very sort of divine connection. Um, but maybe they feel that you have left them and have walked away. Um, but for them, they, uh, you know, I just feel that they would like to embrace the situation again they would like to be with you again they see you as this strong connection um but there is something and, and maybe like i said they think that you're in a relationship with somebody else or that you're with somebody else maybe that's why we've got this stuckness maybe that's why we've got this sort of two of swords of somebody feeling really stuck and you know in a dilemma about whether they let you know again about how they're how they're feeling but i would definitely say that they are definitely missing you that you are on their mind that in theory they would like to come towards you but there's this kind of decision that they feel they have to make they're sort of stuck um and it maybe it's because maybe the decision could be that they want to come back and they want to declare themselves against you but maybe you know, they think you've moved on or they think that you are happy in separation from them but they're definitely still checking you out definitely still wondering what you're up to definitely still taking a look um and maybe they see you as this strong person this person that is confident and sure of themselves when they are not at the moment they, they're not in a confident sure place within themselves it's not that they're not confident and sure about you but they're not confident and sure in themselves so i just feel emotionally there might be a little bit of imbalance there um, and some maybe a lack of confidence for them and um, I, I sort of feel in some ways they would I kind of get the feeling that they would like to just be with you and them just for the two of you to kind of work things out to talk things out that's why we have this retreat I feel like maybe they want that time alone with you to sort of work things out to talk things through so maybe there was before there was a lot of interference and that couldn't happen um and maybe you know you're wanting them to decide to make a decision and i think like i said i think in their heart and their mind they do um they do miss you and you are on their mind but there, there seem to there seems to be this stuckness and i think it's sort of a lack of confidence or a feeling that you have moved on in some way um, or maybe you left them and that's not giving them much confidence um, maybe but they want to you know they, they want to come towards you um, in a funny kind of way there is sort of a sense of hope within them but somehow I just feel they need to shift 
in themselves they're a little bit stuck at the moment so um, I mean the page of swords can mean as well that there might be a message coming forward from them so I do feel they will get themselves out of that stuckness um, and come towards you but at the moment right now it just feels like there's a little bit of I don't know this little bit of um, feeling a little bit stuck let's ask actually a question you know will power number one's person you know are they going to make a move will they come towards them will power number one's person make a move will they come towards them will power number one's person make a move it's one card will they come towards them oh my god so we've got the Six of Wands, so that is victory. The Six of Wands is victory. So in answer to that, and I thought it was the case, they're a little bit stuck at the moment, but they will come towards you. Their intention is to come towards you, to be victorious and to make a move really. So they are missing you, you are on their mind, and I feel that definitely they are gonna to come towards you and make that move, and it goes with the Page of Swords, and it goes with the very soon. So part number one, that's when you read and I hope that you have liked it. If you have, then please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be alerted to any reading that I might do in the future. Other than that, take care and have a good day. Bye for now. Hey, part number two and welcome back to your reading. So you chose a card of new beginnings to bring you into this situation. And we're looking at, aren't we? You know, are you, are they missing you? Are you on the mind? So, new beginnings. Let's see how that relates to your reading. You also chose this beautiful little orange kind of ambery stone. So I've got my deck here. This is the deck that we're going to use. I've also got a couple of message cards as well. And we're going to use that as well. So let's draw one of these first, actually. So let's have a look. So here's a pile number two's person, oh I feel that one wants to come out, is pile number two's person missing them, or are they on their mind? Is pile number two's person missing them, are they on their mind? Let's see, two cards here, oh it says release your ex, the time has come to clear your energy, okay, mm -hmm. and then we've got express your love, Right, so go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So maybe this situation, I suppose, I suppose with new beginnings, it could either be um, that they are wanting this kind of new beginning with you and whatever the situation is, um, and that something is about them with releasing their eggs. Maybe they have, not their eggs, sorry, their eggs. Maybe they have to, um, maybe they were holding on to something from a, a previous situation or previous relationship in your in your relationship and that wasn't you know you weren't happy with that so maybe this situation is quite a new situation and you're having a little bit of a I'm assuming there's maybe a little bit of a split or a little bit of a separation situation here because we're asking aren't we you know are they missing you um, are you on their mind? So I'm assuming that you're in separation in some way, and maybe something to do. Well, that was something to do with them still having a residue from a previous relationship or a previous situation, you know, that you weren't happy with, and they need to let go of that. So there might have been a few blurred lines there, a bit of a grey area, and that sometimes can happen in relationships when you start with somebody and then they're kind of still holding on or they're still connecting somehow to a previous relationship or a previous situation that impacts on your relationship. And that can happen a lot in a lot of relationships. And it can happen for quite a while, you know, people can, you know, have those kind of blurred lines. Um, and maybe that wasn't something that you weren't happy with. Um, and because we have here expressed your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Maybe they need to come back and they need to show you um, how they're feeling. Um, I mean, that could be it, or it could be that they, um, you know, that they are wanting a new beginning in some way that is not part of the relationship with you. Um, but anyway, let's let's look at the cards and see what is happening. So in that sense, um, you know, it could be that they are wanting to release the situation with you if you are uh, the ex to them, and they're wanting, you know, they're wanting a new beginning. But let's kind of wait and see. Let's see what the tarot say. So let's have a look. So first of all, let's ask: Is power number two's person missing? Power number two. 
Is part number two's person missing part number two? Is part number two's person missing part number two? I call that one. Is part number two's person missing? I call that one. Is part number two's person missing part number two? And that one. Let's just have a look at these three. Is part number two's person missing part number two? Right. Mm. Okay, so I do. It's interesting what I've just said there about releasing your ex and then expressing your love because it, it did make me think at that point that there was kind of like two things going on here and also we have the new beginnings here. So I feel at the moment, and it kind of depends on where you are in the situation to be honest, part number two, because there's clearly two people here. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. So it just makes me feel that this person, or the person you're inquiring about, um, is got two people. So this might be a bit of a three-way scenario here, um, a three-way situation that you are involved in. Um, they're certainly feeling challenged, I think, with the Seven of Wands, because the Seven of Wands is somebody who is feeling challenged, but they feel like they're on... So that it's, it is feeling challenged, but it's not a challenge that they feel that they can't handle. So my, my sense is that they are in a situation where they're feeling challenged. So maybe there's a choice that they have to make between these two people because the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands are two, two very different um, people, really. And I just feel that all over this reading, this is about a situation maybe that you're in where there is, there is a, is a three-way situation. So either... Um, like I say, this is about you having a new beginning with this person and maybe that was um, disrupted in a little way because an ex came into the, you know, an ex was influencing it in some way and they need to now let go of that to have their new beginning with you and express their love. Or it's a situation whereby, you know, you, you, you are that, you were the established person and then somebody came in as the third person. Um, and what they what your person is now feeling is that they need to release um, they need to release maybe you if you are that person because there's two two people here really um, and now if this is this if this doesn't resonate with you then you might want to check out another pile really or you know look at another reading but it just feels to me like this person um want, definitely wants a new beginning um there are some challenges to that there are clearly choices that they're making between two people and it's something about letting something go and embracing something new um that's that's kind of what i feel really but anyway let's carry on so uh does part two's person do they miss part number two does part's person miss Part number two. Does part two's person miss part number two? I think it's that one. I think it's that one. I think it's that one. Have a look and see. Right. Okay. So, what I feel is that they, with the Seven of Cups here, um, yeah, in the in the retreat situation, in the separation situation, um, because it comes right under these two choices, really, of the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of um, Wands. So under the Queen of Wands, there is this um, change and transformation, which is is death really um, and under the queen of pentacles there is the seven of pentacles so i feel with if, if i'm thinking what i'm feeling is one one of the situations for them has to go really and i feel it's this kind of queen of wands person here because we have death underneath it the other one is something that they're definitely there's a pause on it but they're thinking of building up on it they're thinking of it's just kind of in pause at the moment. They, they want to um, build on it. They want to um, put effort into it. Um, the, 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 the challenge in the situation for them is that they is a sort of moving away. They want to move away from something. So if I'm absolutely honest, it just feels to me here like your person 
Um, and it's not clear to me about which one of you you are. So you're either the Queen of Pentacles or you're the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is stable, secure, reliable. Somebody who, um, you know, I'm getting a sense here that this might be somebody that they feel that they could have a stable, secure, reliable relationship with. Something that they could build something with. Somebody who's honest and trustworthy and true. Um, very sensual, very attractive, very confident in themselves. And I think this is the person that they are feeling that they want to build something with. Both these both these women are very confident in their own rights. They're very, you know, because um, they're both queens really. So they are, you know, two women that are very confident, as I said, in their own right. But one of them is just, I would say, more kind of family orientated, more um just a, probably a bit of a safer bet in terms of a long-term relationship and i feel that is the person that they are veering more towards for the new beginning um, and then there's this other one who is the, the queen of wands again very confident very capable very exciting very charismatic a great leader um you know quite fiery confident kind of out there um, but maybe not as as kind of family orientated or as kind of secure or stable or not as not as um, got a feet on the ground so much as the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like that situation is a situation that is kind of moving out really, moving out of existence with your um, person. So it really, I suppose if I'm honest, it really depends in terms of how you fit in, how you feel yourself, you fit into either one of those two kind of characteristics here. Um, because I feel that your person is definitely feeling more in line with the Queen of Pentacles here. Um, and they're making a choice. I feel like you know, they are in this situation where they're making a choice or they've made a choice and they want a new beginning. So that's either that they want a new beginning with you because you are that choice and they need to release that, that X maybe, or they're making a new beginning um, with somebody that they feel fits that bill that they can, where they can, you know, build something. And at the moment, there's this kind of temporary pause, this kind of just weighing things up, but with a view to kind of building it up to, um, so that might have been, you know, that you, you might have actually already been with them and had this kind of temporary split where you built something up with them because maybe they had this situation going on with somebody else from the past or something like that and now this separation is causing them to realise that they need to get rid of that situation, they need to get rid of that ex-partner or that ex-person um, because it's interfering with you being able to be stable and secure in a relationship and build the relationship up. Um, and that there were challenges, there were challenges in that initially, and that's why maybe maybe you moved away from the situation. But what I think they're saying is that they want a new beginning. They definitely want a new beginning. But anyway, let's see what these say. So that's part number two, this person, this part number two, are they in their mind? So actually, I'm going to use that, let's use this one. Does part number two person miss part number two, are they in their mind? Part number two is person miss part number two. Oh, I am nine. Let's see, I've got that one there. I want to feel that way again. So maybe they're saying that they want to come back to you. So maybe it's something about, you know, um, them having to kind of let go of something from the past in order for you and them to build something up again. And they want to feel that way again with you. They're missing. And that would indicate that they are missing you that they are missing you that you are on their mind and um, but they know that they need to kind of get rid of something in order for that new beginning to properly flourish and grow with you but let's see what else can we ask so um let's just ask this do they want to be with power number two does power number two's person want to be with power number two does power number two's person want to be with power number two? Does power number two's person want to be with power number two? Let's have a look. I feel that one. Oh, and I feel, oh my God. Well, so you, I think you're, they definitely want the new beginning with you because we've got the six of wands, which is the victory card, and we've got the sun. 
So, I mean, you couldn't get more positive, really. So, I think that this is definitely about them making the choice for you, that they are missing you, you are on their mind. We have clear guidance here to show us that it's something, maybe it was something about them needing to release some sort of old connection um, from the past, which might have caused some issues, some problems, maybe a, a moving away, a, a need to move away. I mean, this could also mean a need to move away from the past, to move away from that, so that they can fully embrace you and build up the connection and have this new beginning. So I think that you are very much on their mind. They are missing you and they do want to come. They do want to be with you. They definitely do want to be with you because we have the victory card here and we have the sun card here and you can't get really much more positive than that. Um, so that's not the six of wands, okay. Let's put that there. So let's turn that over. Okay, is there anything else that I want to? Let's do one more of these, I think. Let's do one more and see. Okay, so can we have a message from palm number two person to palm number two? What's this? Oh, okay, so this one says, I hid who I really am from you. So maybe, yeah, so maybe in some senses, maybe before, in the connection before, maybe there was a little bit of... Um, not being open and honest, so maybe there was something that was hidden, or they weren't properly expressing themselves. Um, so maybe there was something like that. Maybe it's a situation where it hasn't quite got off the ground. So maybe you know them, maybe they're a friend or they're in your social circle, but you know that they've got still got this connection to somebody else, or maybe there was some other people around them, maybe there was some other competition, or there was some other comp yeah, some other competition around the situation, and you know, you weren't sure about whether they were gonna whether they liked you, whether they were gonna come forward for you. Um, you know, because maybe there was some mixed messages around other people or maybe around a particular ex or something and, um, you know, you were wondering about whether they, you were, maybe you were friends, you know, and then you've had this kind of little temporary situation or separation in some way and you're wondering about whether they miss you and whether you're on their mind. Well, you definitely are. You definitely are on their mind. They definitely uh, do miss you, but they, they hid who they really were from you. So maybe there was something that they couldn't open up to you about. So maybe it was this, um, I do feel that they're, 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 they, you know, that in this particular part, there was a bit of a previous connection that somebody was holding on to, um, and that they now need to let go of, they know they now need to let go of to begin something properly with you. And they definitely do want to do it because we have, like I say, the Six of Wands here and the Sun card. But anyway, part number two, I hope that's, you know, that you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be alerted to whenever I do a reading next. Other than that, have a great day and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye for now. Hey, part number three and welcome back to your reading. So um, you chose the card that says leadership with the North Star here. Uh, just up here leading or guiding this polar bear here okay um right you also chose this kind of little amethyst stone that we've got here um and we're looking today aren't we at you know are, is your person missing you um are you on their mind so i've got my deck here that i'm going to be using i've got the right away deck and i've got some message cards here as well that i'm going to be drawing on when i do the reading but straight away i just feel like i want to say i do feel like this that they just because we've got this car and we've got the north star and this whole thing about wishing on a star and also the north star is there to kind of guide um people to sort of bring them out of the darkness really i've kind of got this sense that a they see this as a spiritual connection i think they feel like this is kind of like a divine connection in some way or some sort of karmic connection it has a kind of magnetic pull so i feel that they see it in that way um they see they they kind of know that there's a kind of link a spiritual link or a, there's an intuitive pull or a psychic pull in some way because you've also got the amethyst here um, they might see it as, because it's got the star here, maybe they see it as a kind of 
or they hope it's a healing or it has some connection to healing in some way. Maybe it's something like that. Maybe they're hopeful because, you know, we've got that whole wishing on a star thing. I mean, I don't know. I'll have to draw the tarot. But those are just some of the things that are coming to mind, which kind of would suggest that they are missing you and that you are on their mind. Um, and that you might have a strong kind of psychic link, a bit of a telepathic pull towards each other. So you might know what each other's thinking and feeling, that kind of thing. There might be a bit of that going on as well. But anyway, let us draw the cards and see, see what it says. So, well actually what I might do is I'll pull a message first. So, is pile number three's person missing pile number three? Do they have a message for them? Oh, I think it's this one. What does this one say? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, so maybe there's something around um, both of you or them or you or both of you, like I say, needing to do, and that's what I was saying about healing maybe, maybe needing to do some inner work around becoming whole in yourself. Um, so maybe there's something about that because often, you know, it's, you know, insecurities in relationships can often occur when we're not sort of secure in our own right, when we don't um, feel sort of safe and secure about who we are as a person, you know, we don't feel confident in ourselves. Um, and then, when, but when you do feel confident in yourself, when you've kind of, because you know, like everyone's, um, you know, we all have our own issues, don't we? You know, and most people have issues in shadow, a shadow part of themselves or, you know, that you have to work on. Nobody's perfect. And that can be triggered a lot in relationships. Um, but the more you work on yourself and the more self-love that you have, then the more successful your relationships, you know, will be. And you'll be able to handle them in a better way because you're not going to be so triggered. So what, I'm, what I feel like here is that maybe your person is saying, you know, this time is maybe their time or they're working on themselves a little bit more, learning to love themselves a little bit more, becoming more whole in themselves. Um, and that would go with the kind of leadership and following their star, you know, following a more of a spiritual path maybe. And maybe they're hoping that you're doing the same so that possibly together you are, you know, you can come together again, maybe stronger as a couple because in yourselves as individuals, you're kind of doing the healing work. So maybe what they're saying is they're doing some healing work on themselves. And maybe they're saying that they're hoping that you're doing a little bit of healing in this time as well. Uh, but anyway, let's let's have a look and see. So, is pile number three's person missing pile number three? Is pile number three's person missing pile number three? Is pile number three's person missing pile number three? Okay, so... So it feels to me, okay, at the moment that they are, um, yeah, I mean with the Eight of Pentacles here, I definitely do feel like there's some kind of internal work going on with them. Um, but equally, and I feel like there needs to be some internal work with them because equally we have this kind of Four of Cups and it makes me feel that they are, there's a certain amount of dissatisfaction with them at the moment, they're not, I don't think they're happy, if you, you know, I'm assuming that you are an inseparable, you are in separation, um, because you're asking whether they're missing you, and whether you're on their mind, and I don't feel that they are happy in that separation, um, but equally, I think they're a little bit, um, there's a little bit of a stuck energy to them as well, so, whilst they are working on themselves I, I feel like they need to as I say because there's this kind of sense of um feeling a little bit sorry for themselves maybe in this kind of situation also just um not really maybe they didn't really appreciate properly appreciate the relationship before maybe that maybe that's why you separated from them or why the situation uh, is halted in some way, but there's definitely like maybe a moving away. So maybe this, because of the Six of Swords, this is about moving into more settled waters, so more calmer waters. So maybe, and again, it kind of goes with that whole healing thing. So maybe the situation was 
uh, difficult. The relationship was difficult and they, um, you know, there, there is a moving away from that sense of difficulty, a sense of working on themselves, but maybe they've got a little bit of work to do still because I think there's this, this kind of sense of, because the Four of Cups can mean a sort of lack of gratitude really, a lack of uh, not really being able to see the good around them. So maybe they're kind of stuck a little bit in at the moment, although they're in this kind of healing phase, they're kind of stuck, they're feeling a little bit low, a little bit down, not really fully appreciated, a little bit bored, um, not really happy in their current situation. Um, but maybe the relationship was something that they felt they had to move away from in order to begin this kind of healing work because I definitely do feel like they need to uh, have some time still in separation to do that. Anyway, so that's pile number three's person miss. Pile number three, are they missing pile number three? Is pile number three's person missing pile number three? Pile number three's person missing pile number three. This person missing part number three. Okay, and I've also got this one here. Right, I mean, I think that they are missing you because um, what we have here is the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups, and it's right comes right underneath the um, moving away. So I think that actually, if they may, they may have moved away from the situation or you may have moved away from each other because, you know, this card suggests a moving away from a rocky situation into calmer waters. So what I feel is happening here is that they are at the moment healing, working on themselves. They've still got a bit of work to do here with the Four of Cups, but they actually do want to come again towards you in a romantic way because the Knight of Cups is that. And it comes right under that moving away. So I feel like they moved away to gain some self-love, to do some healing, and they're hoping that you're doing it as well. But they want, once that happens, I don't think they're fully here that, but once that, yeah, they're yet, but once that happens, I think they are thinking about moving again towards you with a romantic gesture, with a sense of, um, yeah, with a sense of romance. Like the Knight of Cups is a very romantic figure. They say a lot of romantic things. They do a lot of romantic things. They're quite a young energy. I'm thinking of Pisces, Cancer, more than Scorpio as such. The Hierophant here is a kind of Taurus energy. So that might mean those, some of those signs might mean something to you. But of course, the Hierophant is also a sense of commitment. So I do feel um, that they want eventually to come towards you with a, with, a, with a sort of sense of romance again and also they are thinking about commitment but it comes underneath this four of, uh, four of cups here so it might have been something the co commitment might have been an issue in the relationship before i.e them not really being interested in commitment before with the four of cups above it but I feel that they are moving more, they are working on themselves and thinking more about a committed situation or feeling that they need to offer commitment. So you are very much on their mind, they are missing you. Um, but I've got this sense of, you know, because we've got the two of wands here, which again, this sense of kind of weighing it up. And that's what I was saying before, you know, they're not quite ready. I do feel they're still in this kind of needing to work it out phase. They're still in this needing to um, wait phase. There's sort of like a waiting to them um, because they're not fully ready in action to offer this kind of romantic gesture and this kind of commitment. Because right in the centre of that, again, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles is about um, again, taking a bit of a pause, taking a bit of a step back, weighing things up. And now the Seven of Pentacles came up in one of the other two spreads, and I can't remember which one it was. I think it might have been spread number two, but don't quote me on that. But anyway, if you've been drawn to any of the other two cards, you might want to listen to that as well. But um, I just feel that there's still this kind of little bit of this um, in action, kind of like a little bit of stuck stuckness to them still in terms of whether they want to come towards you 
um, right now. I think in their heart and in their mind they do, and they're certainly maybe thinking of that, but they're not ready to take that action yet. And maybe there's some choices they're still feeling like there's some choices that need to be made. But the two of wands can also mean, you know, like when you've got all the aces and they're the seed, so they're the beginning of something. Twos can mean, you know, that, that you are waiting for that beginning to literally just start to grow, to just literally take seed. So maybe they're thinking of planting a seed again in this situation. Uh, maybe they have, maybe they have already done it. Maybe they've already come towards you and you're just wondering about whether they have missed you, whether you are on their mind properly. So maybe there's a sense of, um, you know, can you trust this person? Um, and they're waiting for some sort of response or they're waiting for something in some way. There might be a bit of a long distance situation here because this goes tra this shows traveling across water and this shows the world. They've got the world in their hands and they're looking outwards. So there might be something about this situation where you are not in close proximity, but geographically, geographically you are far apart in some way. But my sense is that at the moment they're kind of they're kind of a little bit they're still not fully there in terms of being able to come forward with a proper offer but they're definitely thinking in that way in terms of commitment um now that, that might still be a bit of a challenge for them because with the knight of cups whenever i read the knight of cups first of all the knight of cups is quite a young energy it's not a king uh, i mean equally it's not a page which is even younger but it's not a king so with the Knight of Cups, they are very dreamy, you know, they are very creative. Like I say, they are very romantic, they're great on gestures and words and all of that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, they're not always very, um, you know, they're not a pentacle energy. So they're not always grounded or stable or secure um, or reliable, which might be all the qualities that you want in a kind of long term relationship but because we have the hierophant here i do definitely feel that they are thinking of it but it just might be at this moment in time still a little bit of a challenge for them really um because naturally they are more kind of um yeah more sort of dreamy really in many respects more kind of uh, what's the word um yeah less rooted in a sort of idea of a stable secure solid uh, relationship they kind of want all the flowers and the romance and the gestures but they're not as rooted in that but but because we have the hierophant here i feel like they know that they need to be but there's this kind of like stuckness to them at the moment but they're definitely thinking of you they're definitely uh you are definitely on their mind let's just pull out one of these and see what these say so here's part number three on their person's mind are they missing them oh oh well here we go we've got I can't stop thinking about you, so you definitely are on their mind. And we've got, we need to let each other go. So that's interesting. So maybe there's this, and that might be why we have this two of wands, because they're in two minds in some way. Um, so in their head, they're thinking, yes, I would love to be able to come forwards to pile number three and offer this romance, offer this commitment, but um, because I can't stop thinking about you, um, but I need to kind of work on myself, I need to do some work on myself, I need to heal in some way. We both maybe need to heal in some way or work on ourselves and that might be why I'm feeling that I need to let you go. Maybe I can't offer you the stability and the security that, um, you know, that you want and that you require and so maybe I need to move away in some way. So I feel like at the moment they are in two minds and that might be why we have the leadership cards as well because they just need to... There's something about them where they just need to kind of step up um, in some way. They, they, they need to kind of step up and they are trying to do that, but it's a little bit of a struggle for them. You know, they need to take charge. They need to be a bit of a, um, you know, sort of grow up a little bit in this situation. But anyway, let's see what else. Let's do another few other little ones here. So, um, yeah, so here's pile number three on their person's mind. What are they actually thinking? What is pile number three's person actually thinking about pile number three? What are they actually thinking about them? What are they actually thinking? Mm, again, seven of cups. 
what are they feeling right now? About pile number three. What are they feeling right now? About pile number three. Mm, eight of Wands. And I feel this one, which is the Queen of Cups. What are their intentions about pile number three right now? What are their intentions about pile number three not out in the tower? So yeah, so I think what we have here. So what they are, um, you know, what they are thinking is that they're, they're, they're thinking is scattered. And I think that's what I was saying before, like they're, they can't make, they're, they're sort of, they can't make a proper decision really because the Seven of Cups is about, you know, but, and it goes very well with the Knight of Cups as well. It's kind of like, oh, you know, they're, 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 they can't make, they're not, they can't make a proper decision. So it's like, you can talk about scattered, scattered thinking, thinking they've got a lot of choices, not not being able to, in kind of action, being able to kind of fully commit. They know they need to with you because they have the Hierophant here. They know they need to offer commitment, but it's a little bit of a challenge for them. Um, I mean, they want to come towards you and they see you as the Queen of Cups. So in, funnily enough, you know, they have this kind of sense of speed, Again, maybe it's got something to do with travel, so maybe it's got something to do with distance, and that might be what's going on here. Maybe there's something to do with distance here. Um, but they, they, they want to come towards you. They see you as the Queen of Cups. You know, they, they're in their first instinct, I think, is to do that, really. I think their first instinct is to come towards you. They see you again, and the, the Queen of Cups is again a water sign, so maybe you're both water signs. Um, you know, Pisces, Can Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Queen of Cups is very creative, she's very caring, she's very loving, she's very nurturing, she's very beautiful, um, she might, you know, she's a bit more mature than the Knight of Cups, so maybe she's a little bit more mature, not necessarily in age, but certainly more emotionally mature, she's certainly very emotionally very mature, so they see you in this fantastic way, I don't think they, then. I don't think it's that they're not in love with you, I think they are definitely in love with you, but I think the bottom line here, I think, with this person is that they are frightened of commitment. They are scared of committing, and I think that's what the situation is here. So they do miss you, you are on their mind, but I think they know that you would like commitment, a stronger relationship, a firmer relationship, one that's more committed, where they need to step up a little bit, you know, and they've got all this huge romantic love for you um, and they feel that very strongly but maybe the you know because with the intentions we have the tower so maybe the intention is you know because the tower talks about sort of um, a massive shock bringing something down and maybe with this person they're actually connected to somebody else and that they know that if they come towards you that something else would need to topple over would need to be um, brought down in order for the situation with you to um, to come in, you know, to, to come into being. That might be why we have this kind of choice situation here. Maybe they're committed elsewhere. Maybe they are with somebody else and they're not happy in that commitment, but they feel this kind of love for you. Maybe this was a bit of a third party situation or a bit of a fling or something happened, but they're actually committed to elsewhere or you were committed elsewhere uh, because in the intention it's the tower is to kind of maybe if that's the case, maybe their intention is to kind of bring that down, but there's some sort of stuckness there for them, I think, and there's also this kind of fear, this kind of fear of commitment, this kind of fear of also maybe breaking up a situation that they're already in, in some way, but they definitely do think about you, they are missing you, they do have a very strong love, and I think it was a bit like what I was saying before, you know, there is a strong, um, I think there's a strong spiritual connection between the both of you because we've got the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups and Cups is all about emotion, intuition, inner guidance. So it feels to me like there is a lot of, um, like I was saying at the very beginning, like a lot of psychic communication maybe going on between you, a lot of telepathic messages or dreams. Maybe you communicate through dreams or there's that sort of sense of kind of knowing what the other one's doing or knowing how the other one's feeling, there's a very strong bond between you. Um, but I just feel that there is this, in terms of action, I know that this action isn't necessarily what we're looking at in this reading, in the sense that, you know, I would say that they are missing you and you are on their mind, 
but I feel they, they, they're in this kind of sort of stuck energy where they're trying to work on themselves, they're trying to work on things, but there's a fear, I feel like there's a fear here with commitment, with taking that next step forward, with bringing the relationship on, um, and there may be also, and that can sometimes happen with cup energy that might sort of like internal, internally a little bit of instability and they need to kind of work on themselves a little bit. But anyway, let's have one more card to end the reading with. So, is there a message? One more message from pile number three's person to pile number three. What is that message? Can we have one more message, please, Spirit? What would it be? This could be the one. So, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So, they see you as the one. I think it's what I was saying before. There's definitely this kind of strong... Um, feeling here this strong magnetic pull towards you so they see you as the one they are as I said very much in love with you part number three but anyway that has been your reading I hope that you've enjoyed it if you have then do please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be alerted to whatever I do in the future other than that have a great day and see you in the next reading bye for now